guys and welcome to a new horror wall game called uh, there's something uh, something where I really have no idea so let's play it hey how it's going Eric this is like a normal game Oh, hi, Tony. I see they let you off early tonight. Heck yeah. Hey, you want some of my tacos? Pretty good. Okay, it's kind of dark actually, and there's dark. From the newly opened place at the strip mall, right? Looks like you have some competition now. Uh, it's whatever, more people to talk to during closing hours, make me feel safer. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he is kind of right. I see. So, how was for today? Exhausting? Exhausting and irritating. Is it me or there is someone near the tree? Maybe I'm not close enough to the window. Well, so I don't understand why you keep asking that every day. We've been friends for like what? About three years? My answer's always the same. And I think my cat loves my uh, table for my headphones. <laughs> all right, all right, fair enough. Ah, oh, come on, I'm not mad at you. Sorry if I came off a bit too harsh. I love you, man, I promise. <laughs> huh, shut up. So you really hate where you're working at right now, huh? I work in retail. There's an understatement. True, true. Then uh, why not just work at the military base in town? Weren't you? And listed before in Hawaii as a, uh, um, uh, what was that again? Communication specialist. I can hear you. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty confident that you'll get accepted if you applied for a position. You have experience and you're a stand-up guy. I'm frightened that you think of me that way. Unfortunately, I'd rather pass. What? How come? Just to say, I'm not that ecstatic about the work environment anymore. Plus, I'm hearing... My hearing's kind of gotten worse, so a military base isn't exactly where I'd want to be. Uh, that's understandable. Most jobs in the military do require you to be around a lot of noise. Yeah, earlier I was minding my own business and I just heard this big explosion. Almost made me drop my pastrami. Freaking like fire exercises. <laughs> that's actually really funny. Uh, what? There are no scheduled live fire exercises for today, as far as I'm aware. What? Uh, really? Wait, how would you know? 
Oh, I'm buddies with this guy who works at the base. He always comes to the shop for lunch. We've talked a lot about what goes on over there. I think we are in trouble. Hmm, what did I hear then? It was a bit loud. Kind of makes me worry. Yeah, me too. I think we should just um, go home. No clue. Stop. Tony, if I'm being honest with you, there's also another reason as to why I don't want to work at the military base here. What? Okay, to say it. Oh, and what's that? Promise you won't make fun of me? Well, okay, aliens maybe? Of course. Oh god. As much as much as I don't want to wear a tinfoil hat, those dumb conspiracies spreading around town are starting to get to me. Yeah. Told you. Second government funded projects, development of biological weapons and all that jazz. And aliens, of course. Exactly. It's just fair to me how four years ago this place was pretty much just a peaceful little Midwestern town. Hmm. Then the military suddenly decided to roll in and settle here. Something just doesn't add up in my opinion. Yeah, they're just, oh, we're gonna settle here, cause it's so quiet and nobody would know. Ha! Ah, don't sweat it. Nothing serious of interesting has ever happened in this backwater of a town. If you say so. Been living here for as long as I can, can remember. Always been nothing more than a qualified guest stop. And some dark alleys. <sighs> Anyways, when I come to Joe's, kind of stress myself. Let's take our problems away. Sure, because that's why we don't get any aliens. My cat is just meowing like crazy. And it's not dinner time. I'm pretty sure there must be something in this image, and that light is really annoying. I'm good. My daughter's all alone right now, since the babysitter couldn't make it. Oh, alright. Sorry, I... Um... Oh, crap. Oh, there, you almost stripped. Got to be careful now. Don't smack your head. You haven't even arrived at Joe's and you're already a bit tipsy. <laughs> um, okay, something is going on. Oh no. Hey Eric, do you see that over there? I told you there's something somewhere, I just can't really say it. I propose we just run away? See what? It's dark. Doesn't help that the lamp lamps are kind of busted. I knew there was something there. Really. I think something is moving by the... Uh, by the what? I can't see what, Tony, please. I'm not really in the mood for... Shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot. What the hell is that? No, I can't see it. Huh? Uh, 
up. Yep, is that, that's an alien. Nope, I think that's the devil or something. What? It's still night time. Are we like dead? Someone just killed us? It's still night time. Are we like back in the house? Did we like have a nightmare? Air's too cold. I must do something about it. Just make a fire. But I can't see well in the dark. I need light. Oh, we can move. So this is kind of an, an RPG kind of horror room. Well, <laughs> I like it. I don't have business outside. What do you mean? Hello there. It's telling the time. Okay, so it's like it's making a weird sound. Perhaps, perhaps it's broken. I can't go back to sleep just yet. Because it's going to turn off. I can go back to sleep now. Time to go to sleep. Really? I'm starting to feel thirsty. Wait. Perhaps I should go to the kitchen and rehydrate first. Why don't we just like have a bottle of water? It's so dark. I need the light switch. Can we save? Nope. Damn it. This is our uh, sister. Oh, that's so cute. Daisy and Pop. How can I get out? Really? Oh. Do I boxes? Are you sleeping? I'm just gonna let the... There's the bathroom. I should be fine for now. I mean for now. Ugh. Then why is it like full? I think I just fuck everyone. Yep. I'm just gonna explore this house. Is that the kitchen? Yeah. Wait, no. Hello, sweetie. Just in case the babysitter doesn't arrive, I left the bowl of chicken nuggets and ham for you to eat. There's also a juice box hidden underneath the vegetables at the bottom. Behave and be a good girl, alright? Okay, so we are like that girl from um, the jaw on the other one. Here's the book. Really, I did something that I'm not supposed to do. 
Okay, so I'm not gonna read the note because it will give me a, probably a bug or something. I had to uh, restart the game. Yeah. Sorry. Well, I said that I'm thirsty now. Hold on. No, sorry. Open the fridge. Of course. Buttered water. No. Okay. Time to go sleeping. But first, let's explore. Let's go to the basement. Where is someone is checking in here? Just the absolute. Where is something was moving in here? Okay. Let's watch some TV. I forget to close the door. What do you mean? The door's open. Close it. It must be closed, okay? This is not good. I need to be more careful from here on out. Unless I want my safety to be compromised. I think something will ha be happening. But someone just opened the door. Time to go back to sleep. I uh, know. I will just go to the kitchen. Grab a knife. Ready? Just, just grab a knife. You don't have any knives. Though. No! Just <laughs> sorry. Time to sleep. Okay. If the on, the lights on. All the lights will be on. Am I? What the hell? What is that? Is that a half body? Nightmare. I don't think that's a nightmare. Maybe? Huh? I heard something. Don't ya? There's something inside the house. Oh, really? Better safe than sorry. What do you mean? I need to find it. Where can I find it actually? smell some sort of stench that wasn't previously non-existent in this room. What the hell? I recognize this smell. If I'm right, I will, I will find the intruder in that place. Okay. I guess he is in the basement. Can we just like run? Make to run. 
So, who is it? Boxes. Take the there's all boxes. The bed. Come out. What do you mean, come out? I know you're there. You reek. What? Unless you want to escalate the situation, you will show yourself. I don't know if I want that. All right. What do you mean, all right? What are you doing here? State your business. I'm not here for no trouble, sir. I swear to dog. Hmm? I'm sorry, but that is hard to believe. For all I know, you are here to rob me of my possessions. Perhaps you may... I even plan to hurt me. What? How do we like know? I understand where your concerns are coming from, but please, I beg you, let me stay here for tonight. At least, I swear to God, I won't do anything. Hmm. can't be out there on the streets right now. I just can't. Not while that thing's out and about. I think. I beg your pardon? What are you talking about? I live out in the park, sir. Earlier tonight I saw something. Some scary looking creature pulled straight out of my nightmares. I ain't seen anything like so that creature was actually well shit. It was tall, thin, and its face its, its face was long, soulless. Its mouth and eyes were just empty holes with nothing on there. Uh seems like Okay. Uh I forget how his name is Snyder no. Um uh, it was a movie. Dad. Ah, I just can't wait. And to make things worse, oh god, it, it was dragging someone off into the woods. It was probably gonna eat that poor soul. Maybe? So you see, I can't be outside right now. Please have mercy. I'll do anything if you let me stay just for tonight. Please, please, please. Uh. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'll just talk about this weird creature. Do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound right now? Uh, how the creature was named, uh, you know, ah, slender man, of course, sorry, I'm getting old, can I forget some stuff? Believe me, I know what, I sound like I'm off my records, but you gotta believe me, my mom raised me to be honest. I'd be more happy to keep being a homeless person who lives at the park. But I think I can't be there knowing that thing is out there doing God knows what. So please, show compassion to this poor soul just this once, please. Well, we already are having like a basement, so... Ready prepared? Uh, yes? 
All right. Under one condition, you will stay under the bed for the rest of the night. Understood? Huh. Okay, that's kind of harsh, but... Oh, thank heaven! I understand that you are quite thankful, but I must retire as soon as possible. Something is off with him. Please go underneath the bed now. Oh, right, sir. Th thank you so much, sir. I hope you have a good night. God bless you, sir. So he is all right. Everything's fine now. I must go back to sleep. Again, something will happen. Huh? Okay. What's going on? No. Break this, Steve. Look, it's listen to me. Huh? Come again. Lock the doors now. Get out of town now. Some happening. Sorry, I can't quite hear what you are saying. Line cutting, son of a... Oh. Television, tell, look at the television now. Turn on the television. I have to go. My family will get it out of home. Um, stay safe. Television. Okay. Let's see what's going on. As you can see, the third distinction of the military base is still going on. An explosion allegedly occurred about three hours ago. We started a huge fire that has now spread throughout the entire facility. Uh oh. To make matter worse, the fire is being fanned towards the woods near the base. If not stopped, we will undoubtedly have a very devastating forest fire in our hands. I think we should just uh, go and uh, run, take the car. Yeah, and the aliens too. Damn it. Firefighters and law enforcement have responded it and are now trying their best to control the fire and prevent any more casualties. Unfortunately, it appears that the situation will not to escalate anytime soon. It has been estimated that it will take at least two hours or more to get the fire under control. Colonel Damon Simmons has yet to release an official response in regards to the situation. However, it is worth nothing that the remaining military forces have been given certain orders to carry out. Hmm. Reports claim that military personnel have been spotted around okay, and its neighboring towns. Checkpoints have supposedly been established at various roads within the county as well. I think they are looking for something or someone. Hmm. The reason behind the military's action have yet to be disclosed. The, that being said, it is more likely that they know the culprit behind the destruction of the base and are now trying to apprehend the suspect. Unfortunately, that is all the information we can share for now. We will give further updates and keep everyone informed with new developments. Back to you, Charlie.
The situation is only getting worse. Are we like close to the woods? I must wake up the girl and get out of this town. Yep, just do it. What flowers? Daisy? Daisy, wake up. Daddy? Sorry for waking up, but this is very important. Listen to daddy, okay? Okay? Something very bad is happening right now and we have to leave quickly. If we don't, some really bad guys will come and hurt us. Okay? Why us? Huh. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to scare you. You just have to trust daddy. I promise once we're safe, I will buy you all the ice cream you want. Deal. Okay, it's a deal. Really? Okay then, I trust you daddy. No pack size, okay, he he, it's for you. So we just like pack something and just go. Anything for you, my dear? Okay, so can we pack something? I don't know, I'm just saying. Well, I guess I'm just gonna... Go and leave. What the fuck? Daisy, Daisy, get away from that bastard. Daddy, but... How can there be... Wait, there are two dads? What? So that that uh, wasn't the one we weren't. We were the monster. Like what the hell? That was pretty cool. So actually, the dad was almost dead, and uh, someone else, but was in our bed. Mm, pretty cool and interesting. <laughs>